welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are back here and in case you're new, I'm Bianca Opria and welcome to my channel. I hope that you're gonna enjoy the videos. In today's video, we're gonna talk about x-rays. As you can see, we're in the radiology in the clinic and I will show you guys my basic tips on how to read an x-ray. I won't go into much details so I wouldn't overwhelm the whole video but by the end of this video, I hope that you're gonna be able to read an x-ray with some basic knowledge. Let's get right into this video. Before we start, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate your guys' support and I would love if you guys would like this video. Okay guys, so now going back to the x-ray. What is an x-ray? An x-ray is a 2D picture of the inside of your body, which is colored in shades of white and black, depending on the radio opacity and radio translucency. Okay, now you're gonna think, but what are those two things that I just said? Radio opacity is an object that is that dense that wouldn't allow the X-ray beams to go through it. Okay, so you can think a bit more logically the fact that if an object is too radio opaque, it would block the X-rays and the X-rays cannot go through it, so it will look whiter and whiter in the image. And radio translucency is when the object is less dense, so the X-rays beam can go through it, and because of that we have shades of black. As you can see, we have different color grading here. Let's go through it and we'll see. So, of course, air, you know, it's very radio translucent, so it'll appear as black on the x-rays. And for example, something very opaque, radio opaque, it's metal. Metal, it's very dense and it does not let the x-rays go through it. And for example, this is myself. And you can see that on this model up here, I have a metal ring from my braces. And because of that, you can see it's very, very white. One more thing about teeth. You know, teeth are made from different components, from which enamel and dentin, for example, enamel is very, very dense, so it's more radio opaque than the dentin. Dentin is not that dense, so the dentin will appear a bit more sheer. For example, we see that here we have dentin in shades of black, in shades of gray, so it's not that dense. It's not that translucent as the air, of course, but it's not that dense as the enamel. And also you can see the pulp chamber, which is even less dense, and because of that we see another shade of gray more closer to the black. You should be able to differentiate the enamel from the dentin and the pulp chamber because they're three different shades and you can see them clearly. Okay, so when we check for an x-ray, what do we look for? We have to check things to be in a normal, healthy way, or things that maybe are not supposed to be there, like for example cavities. How do we see cavities? Well, cavities are not that radio opaque, they're radio translucent. And because of that, we're gonna see them in shades of black and shades of gray. And for example, in this image where I circled here, you can see a cavity in there. Normally you see on the other side of the tooth, the normal structure of the tooth, which should be the white. We can see the enamel here. And in here you can see these shades of black. And for example, you will know that we have a uh, cavity there. When you're gonna open this tooth, you might be shocked and have a little bit of bigger cavity than you can see here because there is times in which, because the x-ray is a 2D image, not a 3D one, the healthy tissues can overpose with the unhealthy ones and we can see that it's a little bit better than it is actually in real life. Okay, now that I was showing you a very big cavity, I also showed like some smaller ones and you have to make sure that you see them. Of course, that before you take the x-rays, you also do a clinical exam and then you can actually sense them with the explore for example, in here we have two cavities on both of these teeth. We have one here and one here. You can see that it's only in the enamel layer. We can see very nicely the enamel and the dentin uh, junction. And we can see a little bit of shades of black in here, which shouldn't be there because enamel is very radiopaque. So it should have the same color all around the tooth. And we can see that we have cavities present here. Another thing that we can see on the extra bone resorption. We have cases in which patients suffer from periodontal diseases and we can assess the gravity of this with x-rays as well. For example, in this case where the yellow part is, we should have the bone up until here, but we can observe that it's only until here. So we can see the neck of the tooth not being covered by bone. So this is a big bone resorption as well as on this side is the same thing. It should be up until here, but we see it on the x-rays is only until here. And that will also, of course, probably give mobility to the teeth. So we also probably observe it in real life in clinical examination. Another thing that we can see on x-rays is dental plaque. For example, in this case, we can see it, it is very radio opaque, so it is easy for you guys to see it on the x-ray. We have it here, for example, which we also observe in here more. We see bone resorption 
and as well dental plaque, probably the person suffers from some periodontal diseases and probably he needs some subgingival cleaning. One of the last things that I will show you on the x-ray, we can observe also metal crowns. For example, in here you can see it's a metal crown. It's very radiopaque. It's, it's basically just white. And with that being said, guys, this is the video for today. I hope that now you are able to read an x-ray by yourself, at least the basic notions. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love if you guys would like it. That would help me to see that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out there. And I hope that you have a nice Sunday and I'll see you next one. Bye, guys.